in this tutorial, we will walk through creating a Java Gradle application and putting it through the modern pipelines in Jenkins X. These are the Tekton based pipelines. So let's get started. To get started, I'm going to make sure I'm in the right directory where I personally keep all my GitHub repos. And I'm going to say JX create quick start. We have quick starts for various languages. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me what username I'm going to use uh, to create this Git repository. I'm going to select mine. And then it will also ask me what organization I'd like to use. I have a fictitious, fictitious one called Jenkins Oscar. So I will select that one. And I'm going to call this Java widget to app and the type of quick start as you can see we have many for python php node but the one i'm looking for today is this gradle one so i'm gonna go ahead and select that and i do want to initialize it so i'll say yes and i'll leave the commit message as that So it's going to do a few things in the background, create the GitHub repo it's fairly quickly, as, as you can see. And now we want to track the activity. Uh, when you create an application in Jenkins X or import an application, uh, you can also do that. There will be several things that happen in the background. So we want to take a look at what is happening now. So I'll do uh, uh, the equivalent of tailing the activities for this application by using the dash W. We are tailing the activities for this app. And there are things running already, as you can see. So we're going to give it a little bit of time and let that process finish. Um, when it's done, our, our application will then be in our staging environment where it will be accessible. And this doesn't take too long. So we'll hold for a sec here. Okay, and now our application has been deployed. As you can see, all of the build uh, steps have succeeded. So let's take a look. What we want to do is if we there's a command in Jenkins X where we can get our applications listed. So let's do that and find out if it's there. Hmm. Okay. Might not be done yet. So one of the things we can do is we can say get build. And we have several, several things here, but we're looking for this log for our application. So let's see what happened. And I think we want to do, uh, I believe there's a tail command. Yes. Let's take a look again. All right, it looks like it did deploy it, but somehow we didn't get that last message. So let's let's take a look here. Uh, if we look at the pull request, this should be closed and merged, yes. So our application was in fact deployed. Here we see that Jenkins bot did all, all its work. So let's take a look again. There it is. So here is our app. Now if we go to the URL, there it is. So this is the standard page that comes up. Not too pretty, but it is there. Now, what I would like to show you is how you can modify 
the pipeline and add a custom step to your Tecton pipelines. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to open my repository in code. And we are going to add a step. Now this is all our current uh, Jenkins X YAML file contains, but when you modify your pipeline, you can add additional things here. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, within code, I actually have a terminal myself, so I'll switch to that. And what I want to do is say JX create step. So what this is going to do is ask me a series of questions. Um, I want to have my step execute on a pull request and on a build and I'm going to say on a post. So here we are it's not very clear but you're supposed to type the actual shell command you want to execute. Uh, so I will say echo hi from Tecton Java app sample. And now you can see it added it. So you can see it's build steps, pull request, right? And so what I'm going to do is now, if I check in my code, well, what I want to do is actually first create a feature branch. So let me do that. Um, okay. Feature one. And so now we have our feature branch. I'm going to go ahead and say git add my changes. And just a simple message. We're going to set our branch to the new feature branch we created for our pull request. Okay, now if we go to our repository, which should be here. So this is the fictitious um, GitHub organization where we have our repositories and you see the Jenkins bot and here is me as a contributor as well. So I'll click on that. And sure enough, our feature uh, branch is there. We can do a pull request. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to say, yes, please create my pull request. Now this is going to trigger our build, uh, of course. So Jenkins serverless build is kicking in. And now we have the bot in action, as you can see. So it's going to do a few things now. Let's let's take a look at our our app activity again. Uh, I'm interested in seeing more activity on that. So I want to just again same command, and as you can see right now, our PR is running. As you can see, PR two here, number two. So let's let that finish, and then we'll take a look at at the GitHub page so you can see what the bot did. So what I want to do is also show you the build logs for this application because uh, lots of things happen. So it looks like all of our build process was successful, right? And our change took effect. So we can take a look at our app, but what I wanted to show you is actually what happened in the background, right? A lot of stuff, as you can see, happens in the build process, but here is our custom step that has been executed, as you can see, right? We simply output a, a message, and there it is. So this is how you can add a, a custom step in your 
build process at different stages of, of the build process. Um, let's take a look now, uh, refresh our GitHub page here. And as you can see now, we have a PR uh, for a preview environment for our application. And of course we can click here and take a look, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to say approve. So this is part of the, the workflow, uh, right? So the change hasn't been approved. Someone needs to approve it. And so in, in my case, I can just say approve and comment. And the reason this change hasn't gone into the staging environment is because it needs approval, as you can see here. And now Jenkins X knows that the change has been approved and is going to do some things in the background uh, if we tell our log. Um, we want to check, let's see, there's, there's, I think we want to check the last one here because it's moving it to our staging environment. Okay, let's take a look. Yep, there it is. So the application change has been merged and um, we are set, our application is still on staging and the only thing you don't see is the custom steps right that we that we that we added for our tectone pipeline that's more in the background so no no changes in the ui hopefully this has helped you understand how to add custom steps to your tech tectone pipeline for a java gradle application thanks for watching and i'll be publishing more tutorials soon